We have a NEMA 32 motor hooked up to a CL860 driver, and that is being powered from a 60 volt DC power supply. The driver is being driven by an Arduino, and the Arduino is hooked up to a laptop running universal G code sender. We have three multimeters that are measuring the A plus and A negative voltages. Um, with AC and DC, we have the, the A negative current, which is on the A negative phase, and we have the DC input power, supply, uh, power. If we turn on the power, we get our 60 volts, 59.99 volts supplied, and nothing's much is happening on the windings. Now, if we take a quick step, we get to 12 volts and 0.01 amps. Now, if we do that with a bit of resistance on the wind on the motor, so we're just going to put our hand there in a little bit, we'll see if we can get it to 13 volts, but the current doesn't change really very much. The main issue really is that now that the motor is no longer being driven, there is no holding torque. The question is why is there no holding torque when this is a stepper motor? And one of the benefits of a stepper motor is that when we stop, we know our device is not going to rotate in any way. Just once more, it's taking a step. You can see the numbers there, and then as it stops, they'll die out. And just to be clear, that is measuring the DC power coming out um, over here. That's negative and positive. That is coming to this display over there. We have our A negative and A positive phases over here, being measured over there. That's coming out over here. That's our positive or negative, sorry, our. AC and DC, and then we have in line over here, we have two wires because we weren't sure that one was going to be enough, what we needed, and we seem to be tripping when we only used one. That's going to this cable over here. The other end is over there, and that goes to this multimeter over here, which is measuring the negative current, the current going into the negative A phase.